I'm Shelly Turner with the Builderall team. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add, edit, and delete subscribers from your subscriber list. So as you can see, I'm logged into the Mailing Boss dashboard, and I'm going to go ahead and go into Lists, and then click the word Lists. From here, I can access my subscriber list. I'm going to be working in Subscriber List C, and I can choose to view the list in Grid Mode, so subscriber list C, if I go all the way to the right, I can start working with my subscriber list by clicking the subscriber icon. I can also do this in list view. So I can work with subscriber list C and go to the subscriber icon. So I'm going to click that subscriber icon now. And here I have my subscribers for subscriber list C. And as you can see, I've got four of them. I've got subscriber 1, 2, 3, and 4. And here is where I can start editing, creating new subscribers, and even deleting subscribers. So let's do uh, the first thing, which is create a new subscriber. So right here I've got a button that says create new. I'm going to go ahead and click that. And here I'm going to add in a new subscriber by adding their email and their first name and then putting a status of confirmed. I've entered all that information, so now I'm going to go to Save Changes. It saved the information for me, so now I'm going to go back to my list. And now you see that I've added subscriber number five. So we now have five subscribers in this list. So that's one way to create a new subscriber. You can also create a whole group of new subscribers by doing a bulk action from source. So if I click that button there, it's important to remember that this action is not the import ability. For that, we need to go to a different area. This is strictly adding new subscribers to your list. So you can choose to add it by using a CSV file, and you'd click Choose File here. Or you could add the subscribers here and separate them by commas. And you can choose an action when you add them, including changing the status to subscribe, unsubscribe, or disabled or even delete. Once you have all of the fields completed, you just choose submit and you will have created a bulk list of new subscribers that will be added to your subscriber list. The next thing we want to talk about is editing a subscriber. There may be a time when you need to edit the profile of the subscriber. So to do that, I'm going to look at the subscriber number five. I'm going to click the unique ID and when I do that it allows me to change the information for that subscriber. I can change the email, I can change the first name, or I can change the status from confirmed to either unconfirmed or unsubscribed. Once I've done that all I need to do is click save changes and then I can click cancel to go back to my list. I can also do editing right here in the icon area including this icon right here. It's called Update. If I click that icon, it takes me to the exact same screen where I can change the email, the first name, or the status. I click Save Changes, and then I click Cancel to go back to my subscriber list. So we've talked about creating a new subscriber, editing a subscriber. Now let's talk about how to delete a subscriber. To do that, all I do is look at the individual subscriber, Right here I have subscriber number five, and I go to this icon right here, which is the delete icon. I just click it. It will ask me if I'm sure I want to delete it. I click OK, and now that subscriber is gone from my list. So in this video, we learned how to add, edit, and delete subscribers from your subscriber list in Mailing Boss.